Hey guys, today we have an exciting video. We're going to be looking at building our report in Workfront, um, getting a little bit uh, more into the weeds, I guess you could say, um, with text mode. What we're going to be doing is showing you how to bring in uh, task data into a project report. Uh, so in order to do that, you really um, need to use text mode to bring that data in. So let's jump into it. Uh, I'm going to go into my reports and create a new project report. So the idea here uh, is, you know, you're wanting to have a report where uh, you're able to have it formatted like a project report. So you're able to see the projects uh, on a column um, and then have data on the top um, uh, on the headers um, and some of the data be specific task information from those projects. Uh, so we're going to be looking at this project um, and from built from this this template, this general internal strategic initiative template, um, and showing you how to be able to bring in some of these dates, for example, into the report that you want to see. So we're going to get started. We're going to add some filters. Um, our first filter is going to be our project template ID. Um, basically, what we're saying here is you only want to bring in projects that have um, been created from this template, right? Um, another filter, we're just going to do project status um, equals to current or planning. Uh, so, yeah, basically filtering out any completed or dead projects or anything else. So, for now, that will be good for our filters. Um, let's go here and just kind of clean this up. Let's say we don't need this start on date. We don't need a description. Um, and let's just give this a name. We'll say task data on project report example. Super creative name. <laughs> um, okay, we'll save that and just show you initially what this is looking like. Okay, so again, we're able to see these are different projects that are all created by that same template here on the left, and we're able to see some of that data across here. Since we're gonna be bringing in task information with project information, I'm gonna rename some of these just to make sure it's clear and not um, nothing gets confused. You know, owner, could it be the task owner if we're having these tasks next to it? Um, so I'm gonna edit those, and then I'm gonna get into showing how we can bring in the task information. So let's edit. Let's start by changing the names. Let's go to advanced options and we'll call this project. And then owner, we'll call it project owner. Um, so here we could have said project name or really you know, anything we want. We'll just leave it as project and then a project owner. Um, save that. And then we're going to add a column. So in order to bring in Again, like I said this task information bringing in, we're going to bring on the uh, the due on date or the plan completion date is what we're going to show you. This would also work. You can bring in the start on date. You can bring in some other information. But for this example, we're going to bring the due on date. Um, so in our new column, we're going to go up here to text mode and edit text mode. So let me first, I'm just going to get rid of this. Then I already have the base of the text written out uh, just to make it a bit easier for us. So I'm just going to paste it in here. I will also paste this code snippet into the uh, description of the video. So that way you can just copy and paste it and use it. And I'll show you the, the there's only really two fields that you need to change. And then obviously if you're wanting to build something a bit different, you have to make some modifications. But so yeah, so first off, we're going to be bringing in this kickoff meeting due date. So we're going to name it. So display name is uh, what's going to show up, show up on the top of the report. So let's call it kickoff meeting. You could, you know, want to be a bit more specific. We could say kickoff meeting due or due on, but uh, we're just going to assume that we're, you know, we understand that the dates we're going to see are the due on dates. Uh, so then the next thing we're going to look at is this value expression. So basically what this is saying is if the template task ID is equal to the template task ID, which we'll pull in just a sec, then output the planned completion date. Okay. 
So in order, we'll get that template task ID. Uh, probably one of the easiest ways to do that. If you just go into the template, go into the task, and then up here in the URL, if you just pull this ID, you can copy that, come in here, and we'll paste that. Okay. The other thing, I'm just gonna move this. It's not necessary. I just wanna move it to make it a bit more clear. Uh, so this little section, use width equals true, width equals 80. This is where we're uh, like telling the report, the obviously the width that we want this specific column um, to be. And so one thing I, I like to point out is when you start building reports with text mode, uh, it's recommended that you go into all your fields, all your column headers, and um, go into the text mode and add these just two lines of code that use width true, width equals whatever you want to set it to. The reason why is sometimes when you some of your fields have are in text mode that you're using the use widths and then some other fields aren't, um, the formatting gets a little bit messed up and it doesn't um, work, doesn't look quite as it should sometimes. So um, not necessary. You can go, you know, I'll show you, I won't change it and you'll see what it looks like and it may be fine. Um, in other cases, especially when you're adding more and more, uh, columns, that's when it can get a bit more necessary. So just a quick little note there. But anyways, so here's our code. Uh, I'm going to copy this again because I'm going to add some other fields. Um, but basically that's that I'm going to hit done and I'm going to move this over here. And so now let's say I'm going to bring in real quick uh, two other uh, task uh, information, the stakeholder interviews and the create design document. I was going to bring those in um, just as an example to add to this report. And I'll do that real quick. You'll see as I walk through it. Um, but yeah, so I'll just do that real quick. Okay, one thing you'll notice here is the order of these fields uh, or these lines are different. Uh, the order doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, as long as you you have all the information, um, then yeah, the order itself doesn't matter. Okay, so I've added that. Let me just move that over. And then let's save and close. And there you go. So here's an example of what I'm saying where the, uh, I've set the width of each one to 80, but it's not obviously this, the, these three should technically be the same, but they're not. Um, so we'll, we can go in and fix that, but, or you can just fix it manually here, but, um, but yeah, so here we go. So here we have the project here, the project owner. I think we have those specific tasks here on the top with when they're due that you can see. Um, this is the project due and I should have changed the name for that. I can do that real quick. And this is the project percent complete. Um, so this is an example of why you can see it, it could be important to kind of rename some of these because you know, as we're seeing these tasks due on dates, we wanna make sure that we're super clear that this is the project due on date or we could rename it, you know, uh, estimated project completion, planned project completion, something like that. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated. Um, obviously, uh, you know, just slightly more complex getting into the, the text mode, but wanted to show you how to do that. Again, I'll leave that code um, that I use for a text mode, I'll leave that in the description. So that way you can uh, just copy it, put it in your reports. You just obviously need to, um, you know, edit your the name, the template task ID. Um, you could also, for example, let's say, you know, we're pulling in the, the completion date. Um, you could do the planned start date if you're, you know, wanting to show when the task is planned to start, obviously. Um, so you have, you have a lot of options when it comes to text mode, but that's just what I wanted to show you, a pretty simple example. 
So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out. Uh, you can leave a comment. I uh, try to, you know, look at those and I'll definitely try to respond. Um, or you can, you know, reach out to us any other way and we'll, we'll try to help answer your questions. But hopefully that was a good video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next video.